on radio. So, so when you when you think about it from that point of view, man, I guess looking back looking back at it back then, did you see yourself twenty years from then still being as relevant, still being as as what you are now? You just felt like, man, I was, man, I was, I was shocked then that I was dropping an album. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm fit to really drop a, a, a record, man, yeah. an album, man. It's, you know, so I was, you know, I was kind of like. You know, my my emotions not on the surface, yeah. mine is, you know. So, but on the inside, I was just kind of like, you know, like, yeah. damn, I'm really dropping the album. So, you know, it was I was, you know, kind of intrigued by the whole thing. Man, I, but but the the thing is, is that when it came out, I, I guess nobody would never know that you might have felt like that because when it came out, it was so well put together. It was so polished, so perfectly laid out. The production was on point. The lyrics was on point. So I would assume that you kind of already had a grasp of the direction that you wanted to go before going in. Man, kind of, but I mean, no, kind of, but yeah. no. I was, I was, I was learning. Gotcha. Yeah. I was, I was, I was learning because now it's like, man, I got now. You got to. It's, you ain't just ain't just no freestyle. You got to sit and you got to write your rap. Yeah. And I like that because I get to say what I want to say. If I could, if I freestyle, you might be to miss something. Yeah. You know how that be. Yeah. But when you can sit down and get on their pen and just give, give them what, exactly what's on your mind, I, I, I like that part of the game too. So I, I had to, you know, I had to, I came a long way with that, man, because I used to, man, and I got a thing where, if I'm writing it and I'm not feeling it, I'm not going to finish it. Gotcha. So when I turn it over to you, if I done played with it about seven times till I'm ready to say, okay, this one, then that's the one that I'm going to get. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, and I just been moving like that. So in the beginning of my career, oh, man, it, it might take me about an hour, hour and a half to write a version. Right, right. right. Because I'm writing it, I get up off it, you know what I'm saying, I'm thinking about it, this and you know, and, you know, now, you know, 20 years later, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole new ball game. That's, that's nothing. But it took me a, it, a while to have to, you know, to get there. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, you 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 grew into your 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 veteran level, you know, because in the in the beginning, sometimes, like you say, that's your first effort. That that first, that's like, like you said, man, I got, I'm getting ready to fight this dude. He he huge. I got to I got to knock him out with that first punch. Right. So you looking at that as your first punch? I got to hit him hard. You couldn't play around with it because you might not get that second opportunity. Right. So I could see that. Plus, being most most great artists are perfectionists anyway. So even if it's good to the <clears throat> fifty people in the room, they saying it's good in your mind. You like, nah, I could do that better, right? You know, so that that's what it is. But we here with the legend, Big Pokey Man, so, uh, screwed up click man, the legend, the cornerstone. We are honored to have him in the building. If y'all want to holler at him again, the number seven one three five two six five seven.